Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Affinity Legends of Wall Street Trading Room. Um, the queues are gapping down significantly today. Um, I think we're at the, the, the do or die break point. The market correction FOMC high seems to have uh, jogged the market. And um, sure enough, you know, Facebook put in a pretty nice sell setup yesterday. I wish I had followed my gut instinct and shorted it or bought puts on it, um, but I did not. So uh, that was a nice significant drop from uh, 96 down to 94. Um, pretty significant drop on uh, Facebook. Beautiful sell setup, by the way, as well. On the SPY, guys, we are now below the moving averages. So we are gapping below the moving averages. Um, one of the things that I, I would say that we have to be mindful of is in a market like today, and I'm just going to put my, my notes up here in blue, okay? So there's my notes. Um, I'm going to say let's be mindful today for day trading. When you gap down, a lot of times we fade the gap and then make an inverse check mark, okay? So um, be very, very careful to, to see that the moving averages don't come from overhead, okay? So a lot of times we'll move back up to the moving averages on the intraday time frame and then roll back over, okay? A um, couple of stocks that we should be really aware of, okay, RAD has been really, really weak. However, okay, it's gapping down to $17, $7 even is the stop point. So RAD might get down to $7 and fade today. So that one has a really strong fade potential, having gotten close to its daily target on RAD. RAD is a fade watch. Let's take a look at DRI. Okay, DRI. Okay, this one is a uh, Darden's restaurant earnings reversal potentially. So we're going to keep that one on the, uh, the watch for day trading. DRI, reversal watch. Okay, we got DWTI, which is uh, one of Penny's. This is a, the triple velocity crude, okay? So we'll see if we got a big gap up on crude today, actually. Um, so we'll see what that does as well. So we'll put that on the day trading. We'll put crude on the watch list. Oil on the watch as well. Let's see, Tesla. I mean, guys, I mean, I, I think Tesla, having bounced the way that it has, um, is definitely yesterday triggered on the short. So I would definitely keep an eye on Tesla today. It's, it's uh, not quite breaking the prior day's low, but it could certainly come back to the moving averages, which would probably be around 245. And being as that it's at 259, that's a lot of clear air. I'm going to put Tesla on the short watch list. All right, anything else that I think that we should look at? Um, not really seeing anything else. All right, so I'm just going to let the uh, the market open here. I'm going to watch for that the five minute high break in case the market fades. Monufala, but that looks like one of your passwords. All right, guys, let's watch DRI. Let's watch the queues. Okay, market just opened. I'm I'm betting that the queues are going to rally. I'm watching the one minute. And so far, my fade estimation is correct. I'm zooming in on my one minute just to see what it looks like. But we have a one minute, one, two, three continuation coming in from the pre-market. Okay, I'm watching for a fade here. I'm going to probably just take a little nibble. If it breaks the five minute high, that means I'm going to wait for the second bar. Right now, it's 9.32. I'll be right back. I'm just waiting, giving the market some time to uh, suss itself out. This is the key moment here, guys. We still haven't done anything. We've let the market trade for four minutes. If we don't break the five-minute low, we'll probably surge higher. Okay, as we're being depressed by this moving average, we are now in the five-minute, first five-minute bar is complete. We are coming into the pre-market lows. If we do not reject and go up and start to fade, we look for shorts, only shorts. I think a fade on the VIX if, if we reject that low, then a good fade on the VIX would be in order. See, so far we have not triggered. We have not rejected the low. We have not broken the low. 
we could break the low at any time. Otherwise, you got to buy the VIX. So we're still watching this five-minute high, five-minute low. Until we get resolution of this five-minute high, five-minute low, we're not doing anything. This looks like it could be a one-minute buy setup. You missed nothing, Erwin. MOS, guys. MOS. Uh, I think that the market is fading, guys. I'm getting a long indication on the market. You could buy the QQQ, QLD. Could short the VXX. Okay, VXX triggering down on the five-minute low break. Okay, we are triggering a fade, guys. So far, what we talked about is happening. We are here. Okay, if you got in on anything, probably a good time to take some initial profits. You shorted the VIX. You just got a 15 cent drop. If you bought the QLD, you could take a little profit off. If you bought the Qs on that pullback, on the one minute, let's see if it, now that it's broken above here, the next move should be significant. Okay? The next move should be significant, right? It should come back up to the high and break and go higher. It, it's just breaking the five minute high right now. So we have a little buy set up. It went straight up after it failed to break down. It went straight up. Now we're pulling back. We need to put in a higher low. Now, guys, the first the first trade was tradable. The second one is much more tradable. Okay, this one, if it breaks up here, this is much more tradable in my opinion. We have all this clear air to the upside. Uh, guys, I'm getting some early indications. Intel, INTC, as a possible short. Breaking a the second five-minute bar. Uh, the other one is CLL. INTC, guys, is a short. Intel, AZO, AutoZone. Get in the zone. Okay, guys, let's look at the Qs again. Okay, Qs are making a three-bar pullback, getting ready for a move higher. Ready, guys? Pull the trigger. Get in the zone. That hit our trigger. I have an offer out on the cues, guys. I'm selling some into strength. Okay, got taken. My offer got lifted. This is trading by numbers, guys. We are breaking the high, fading the gap, breaking the five minute high, clear air up to 104.75. Let's see, BAC. BAC, guys, breaking the five-minute high. BAC, lots of clear air on BAC to the moving averages on the daily chart. I have an offer out here on the Qs. They have not gotten lifted yet. I'm a little concerned if it doesn't make a surge upward. Here you go, guys. This is fading the Qs long. Uh, some of the more aggressive people are trading the TQQQ. Okay, guys, um, I think we're going higher here. We're taking a further move for the fade. Wow, guys, that just took off real fast. Uh, caution on the longs, guys, because we are hitting some of the early resistance. So I just took some profit on my cues. I don't like that reversal bar on the, on the one minute. Now, that reversal bar can end up meaning nothing, okay? But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's see CAG. Um, yeah. INTC. 
INTC, guys, watch that for a rollover, INTC. Let's see the QQQ, guys. I think the QQQ might be setting up for another buy setup, but but um, I'm kind of sitting on hands until it does. I only have a little bit of my back portion of my position. I don't want this, uh, if it breaks below that low, I want to see that it doesn't break below that bar's low. I want it to surge up and make a 1, 2, 3 continuation up. Okay, guys, I think we're going to make a 1, 2, 3 up here. So as long as it triggers on that one minute and it triggers on that five minute, it'll take us up to 104.75. I'm just going to sit in there with my current position. It's the back half of my trade for risk management purposes. Okay, I'm waiting for this to trigger. It still has not triggered. DRI. Yeah, it's worth watching. Okay, guys, the cues are starting I to get set up and go here. I yet. MOS still going down. Yeah, it's really getting kiboshed. MOS Potash was another one that's been getting kiboshed. Um, COP guys break five minute low. MOS going down as well. Kenny, are you talking? Because if I can't really hear you. I ain't buying stocks till the UVXY cracks down again. S S Y S twenty eight fifty five. Get it? First reversal of the day. S S Y S trying. S S Y S. But uh, be cautious. Market sucks. S S Y S. Green. I'd be more excited if the market was not dying. I I I. Take a look at rig for some reason. That thing might be going green too. Rig. That would be R I G. S S Y S. Hanging in there. And picking up some rig here as a little feeler. That would be rig. 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 And Alibaba, guys, the, I was thinking this thing might go green today. Here it comes. It already bounced the dollar fifty. Keep an eye on this Baba. The ironic trade would be it to be higher today with the lockup and all that. All right, rig working a little bit here. Rig. That would be rig. All right, G. SSYS and nickel away from the highs of the day. Got some rig, got some SSYS. And I'm going to watch PayPal today for any leftover buyers from yesterday. Maybe they'll come in and pick something up soon. Except the market sucks. So I guess we were onto something with that sell jeans short yesterday. Geez, down 10 points now. Off that spot. I like the way the SSYS is hanging in here, boys. Girls, SSYS, penny away from a top tick here. And the GoPro, kids. Oh, here comes your SSYS. Come on. All you need is one. And check out that GoPro coming on strong. Dead stocks are bouncing a little bit. SSYS, here's your 20 cents if you did buy any meaningful position. That's a profitable trade. We'll count that as a win if you take your profits right now. 15, 20 cents on your first trade of the day. It's always fun to take money. SSYS, new highs. Come on. 
SSYS. And again, if you want to take profits now, you're up a quarter. Go ahead, take half, take 80%, make money. Thank you. Actually, somebody just took your profits. <laughs> Not going to be enthusiastic about holding stocks until the UVXY is back under 39. Celgene, man, that was a nice short at 125 yesterday, huh? Wow. All right, market's trying to stabilize right here. So let's see if the UVXY starts to come in. All right. Some more of my garbage energy stocks are moving again. That MRO has been pretty kind to us. But sticking with the rig for now. Here comes the energy. Here comes your MRO, a little feeler into the MRO. By the way, PayPal just had a nice bounce. PayPal, I'm looking for that as a buy soon. If you still got some SSYS, I try to use 29, 28.99 as a stop, but so far it looks great. Reversing in this market, very good sign. SSYS. And your rig, what's up? Come on, rig. Make some money on the upside finally on this stop. Keep an eye on GoPro coming back. Here comes your rig. Your GoPro, your SSYS, look at this. We're three for three, right? Come on. Give me some GoPro here. Oh, no GoPro. MRO instead of GoPro. MRO. Oh. Oh. MRO. Oh. MRO, same as rig. And SSYS, two cents away from new highs. MRO, a penny away from. New highs, rig new highs, UVXY under 50, SSYS new highs. Here comes your MRO, here comes your rig. What's up? What's up? There are no, nobody, is nobody better than the whiz. SSYS, there's your explosion, kids. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! SSYS, we're going to make $400 on this trade instead of. $200. GoPro, come on. MRO, GoPro, rig. SSYS, look out. Now you can sell it. There you go. Hit that 2241 bid. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Or don't. And there you go. 2241. That was a nice sell. Boom. What's up? Reversals, they work. Wow, you've been off the air this whole time. I'm cheering on SSYS and 50 cents in SSYS. Anybody got that rig? I got some rig, I got some MRO. That piece of shit SUNE looks like it might be on a reversal trail. Keep an eye on that one. All right, nice sell on SSYS 28941 so far. And rig, eh, I was hoping for at least 11 cents out of this, but we'll see. Watch me, watch me. Here comes your rig, biatch. Yes. MRO, I got some MRO, I got some rig. I got some MRO, I got some rig, I got some rig, I got some MRO. Oh. All right, three trades, three winners. And I didn't even mention Schmuckers coming in from the Newswire source of a dollar. And let's not forget what's GoPro doing. GoPro. Oh, and my charts just went down. GoPro. There's no risk in diamonds, schmuckers. And they look at the hammer. There is a hammer with one minute. That's a re reverse candle. There's no risk. How's that? Zero. Ooh, riskless. Wow. 
risk was to the risk was not getting in the train. Hey man, SSYS, perfect trade. Thousand shares as it goes green, bang, fifty cents. That's my shit right there. Did you see that on your own? No, you pointed it out, so I went on it. Go pro, kids. Go to the Fargan Pro. Coming off lows. It's called Go Pro. Go to the Pro. S U N E, boys. Another one that's waking up here on the green side. Oh, here comes the market. Looks like Schmuckers is going to be a winner, too. Schmuckers, S J M. The big story is Hillary playing pretty behind. She's going after all the files that out right now. Oh, oh, GoPro. Shamal. I'm the greatest trader on earth, man. Go to the freaking pro, home slice. Go to the mother effing pro. <laughs> MRO. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're making money on MRO and the rig. Oh, my Lord. And we didn't buy the schmuckers. Who's got the GoPro? Break this 32 and we're going green. Come on now. Oh, oh, MRO. Oh, oh. Who's the greatest trader? This guy. Yeah, man. I, I can't kiss all the girls. 114 SJM, the call of the century. It's up a dollar. How about GoPro? Oh, oh. SJM would be schmuckers, guys. This thing's, uh... That's it. I started to shoot. Oh, oh, oh. I might have to sell the GoPro. Oh, oh no, the GoPro. GoPro. Alibaba. Here they come. Here they come. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Here they come. Oh, GoPro. Why didn't I buy some Baba too? The ironic trade. And we sold the GoPro, you bastard. No. Oh, no. Alibaba. Here it is, kids. The ironic trade of the century. Lock up. No reason to own this stock. Bouncing like a madman. Oil is up. All right. Rig couldn't break the 1449. Probably should have offered it out right there. I waited to see if it could break the half number. Not going to stick around in too many positions on the long side here, kids. Oh, oh, go pro. So my little news feed worked today. SSYS was off the feed. Schmuckers was off the feed. Interesting. U.S. to the M of the F and steel, homeboy. U.S. to the mother F and steel. Yeah, that stock is just, man, that is the, the lowest rung of hell that thing is lurking in. Oh my lord, guys. I T C I I I. I T C I I I I. Keep an eye on it. That's that biotech that went up three points and then comes crashing down seven and then goes back up five. Might be going green. But again, only trade I T C I if you're already up money for the day. That thing will rip your heart out. Oh my God, Twitter's green. You gotta be kidding me. Told you this is a bottoming positioning position. This thing's going to eventually have a nice move if this market can hang in there. The shorts are gonna cover this thing one day. All right, come on, read. I'm gonna wind up only making 
10 cents. Twitter to the green. Oh, I'm sorry. I would have bought some Twitter at 29.38, maybe made 50 bucks or something. I T C I I I. That would be I T C I. Big size right at the high of the day. Breaks that, it's gone, kids. I T C I I I. I T C I I I. Oh. Anybody get some? I T C I. Here it is. Can we push it through? I T C I I I. Uh oh, hold on, big guy Netflix coming around. Dun, 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 dun. Netflix, Twitter. All right, let's get ready to sell that uh, rig if it doesn't break the fourteen forty nine this time. Oh, nice sell on GoPro after all. So far, it is only six minutes later. Six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Up, up, on, on. Come on, rig. I'm getting indications that the market's going lower. Okay, I got a high failure to make a new high. By the way, remember that LEN reversal yesterday? This is for you, Mikey S. Remember the reversals, how they influence trends. The LEN was a gap up into a red reversal, and look what happens to it today. It gets absolutely smoked. If you're going to hold overnights, let it start with the reversal and stay that direction. Lesson learned. LEN. One for one yesterday on the earnings reversals into the swing trade with the direction of the reversal. Two more points down today. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, again, I didn't suggest anybody hold it overnight, but. Watch Rad, just saw too, because Rad gap down. This should be a novice gap fade today at some point. Rad made a big gap L down. And O Shiza. And we're out of the rig. Shit. Man, oh man, Jason Ginn back in the house. What's up, my man? Wait till you get started. Everybody say hi to Jason. He's listening in from fixing his Ferrari in his garage. Thinking about becoming a trader. He's no idea. We're only going to teach you the stuff that works, so never have to have any negativity in your life. How about the FBYE short yesterday? So just pointing out, yesterday was... Probably as far as reversals, one of the top days of the year, which was uh, out of nowhere. Who the hell thought yesterday was going to be such a monstrous day? But the biotech reversals, we had the fade in the FBYE, and just take a look. I know it's easy for me to point it out when it works, but I'm going to point it out when it works, because when it works, it's good when it works. Huh? Anyway, if you don't know what reversals are, oh, baby, let me teach you. Look at the ITCI, how they got to that guy with the size and just dropped the dollar. Now you get, now you understand why that stock's something where, if you want to trade ITCI, make sure you're up $1,000 for the day already. Knowing your stocks is half the battle. Oh, how they trade. You don't need to know what they make, but you need to know how they trade. How they move, thin, thick and all that stuff. This market is eerily quiet. They say don't short a dull market though. 
That's the one thing. Uh, they do say that. All right, I'm going to keep GoPro on my screen here for a possible and something I don't normally do is go back into a stock that I already was in. But here's the catch, kids. It still hasn't gone green. So we still got some possibility to be left in GoPro. That would be GoPro. Gamma. Hardy. Roger. Oscar. Remember that idiot? How's SSYS going? Ah, test of strength here, guys. Michael S., this is for you. If stocks go down after you sell them, it is a pure indication of the weakness of the market. Because 9 out of 10 times when you're in a stock and you sell it, it goes higher. Trust me. So if you sell something and it goes down, usually an overall hell of the market. By the way, we sold SSYS at 29541. What's up? Oh, baby. Look at that. Three, four cents off the high. Sold the rig, 1443. Could have been better. Who cares? Made some money. And MRO wound up getting out flat. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. And here comes the Netflix. So I don't know if I want to touch Netflix, but I might be looking for GoPro instead. Go. Oh my God, GoPro pulled all the way back to 31.65. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get back in. And down goes Frasier. And so goes the market. Remember guys, this is supposed to be the craziest week, the scariest week, the worst week of the year. You know what I say to that, Jason Ginn? Who gives a crap about history, right? We find two or three trades, we make some money, and then we watch prices right or go fix Ferraris. Or go out and weed your backyard so your wife doesn't yell at you when she gets home. Huh? Jimmy McCartney's in the house. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Another young buck looking to get into this business. Greatest part about starting this business right now is you've got me, semi-retired lunatic friend, to help you pass all of the learning curves. Here at the Legends of Wall Street, you will only learn positivity and things that work and ignore everything else. You want to learn about Bollinger Bands? Go read a book. There will be no dojis. There will be no flying wedges. What's up, man? There will be reversals and VWAP because that's what works for me. And if it works for me, it could work for you. Because I know how you think, Barter System. I'm one with you. Oh, by the way, if you do hang out with me for over a year, you, you have part of my soul inside you. So that you are now officially a disciple. By the way, a hey, did I mention I'm scared about the market? I was going to say Tesla and Baidu. Remember, they were looking like shorts. They were popping out. Actually, Baidu more than Tesla. But Tesla, man, damn. If anyone's going to take profits in a stock just to lighten up their portfolio, start with that stock. Much as I love it, it's gone up a hundred points since that flash crash. It's, it's too much. You took too much. I just want to give it up to me for not holding any overnights on the long side because I sure as hell was tempted yesterday when that market had that unexplicable burst of strength. I thought they might squeeze this biatch. But I fought the urge, and I knew that tomorrow will be the same stuff. We'll find three reversals, and then we'll go. Right? Why take on the extra risk? You know what I'm talking about, fellas? By the way, if you do have any of those uh, naked, uh, what's it called? 
that naked strangle we set up, it's actually making money because we're making nice cash on the 114s that we sold at like a dollar, which are down to 65 cents already. Woo! New lows. Guys, I think Netflix is a short here. Looking at this five minute chart, it's triggering down Netflix. We just put in a topping tail on the five minute chart and it should go back down to the lows. Needs to break the bottom of that wick right there. Break my wick, break it. Break my wick, break it. So let's all pat ourselves on the back for getting out of all those three stocks at the highs of the day. Woo -ha! Except for GoPro, it's trying to tease me to get back in, but I don't know. I don't know. By the way, there's a new front runner in town, and it's Bernie Sanders. Socialism for everybody. I don't want to know about Smuckers anymore. We're out of it. 112.60 or 114 in Creable, right off the newswire. Break your neck, break it. I just want to point out L-E-N again. Oh, Shiza. Remember this day and keep it holy. If you have an earnings reversal, usually it stays weak. An earnings reversal is so significant, L-E-N. GoPro! Oh, no. Am I going to have to do another trade, you stinker? All right. I'm going to have to buy this thing. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to lose money. I have a feeling it's not going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Got a multi-day VWAP staring at me in the face at a half number. It's just so enticing that it probably will rip to 3250. But I'd like to buy it at 3185 would be nicer if it could pull back. So anyway, earnings reversals. This is an important lesson. Take out your pencils and papers class. Turn to page 65 in my book named This Is What Works. After the earnings reversal, which represents a trend reversal for the stock, Usually the weakness or the strength off the reversal will continue for the next two to three days. Keep the stock on your watch list and look for the trend to continue. Chapter six. You got that? And now you're seeing living proof in L-E-N. Not only is it down huge, but it's so much more now than the reversal. And this thing had weekly options. The reason I stopped watching it because they didn't. I was gonna, you know, buy the fifty-one, fifty puts, but there were none. Len, no weekly options, and it trades in two and a half point increments. So, not really my my thing there. I need to tighter strike prices on my option plays. All right, GoPro is trying to make a believer out of me here. Go to the pro, Holmes. GoPro. All right. Not really feeling good about buying stocks now as the market's rolling. 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 Netflix short working, guys. I'm going to start covering some of this now. Hello. Yes. Yes. Arnest is talking on the phone on the microphone. Yes. Oh, LEN, okay, possibly dumbest thing. Oh, man. You know what? I think that actually what I don't want to look now, but I, oh, it was actually at 51 okay. at this morning when it opened up. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh oh, GoPro making me a believer. Oh, GoPro. Oh, GoPro. Come on. Seven more cents. And the shorts might be triggered to cover two more cents. Come on. Go to the pro. We're looking for 32.49. I covered one third of Netflix, guys. 
covered one third of Netflix. I think it'll make another impulse down. Stocks don't usually turn and reverse and change on a dime. I think it'll make another washout move down to at least the bottom of that low there. Go crow, you bastard. I nearly took GoPro too, but but uh Kenny scared me from taking the trade. Ah, it's showing massive strength in a market that's continuously ticking downward. So let's see, we got one more push here left in it, and then we'll we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Could it be a GoPro reversal? Am I good at sniffing these things out? All right, what are we gonna do here now? All right, we got the reversal. Now let's see the push to 3249 would be nice. UVXY hitting new highs, not a good thing for long. So if you are on GoPro again from 3204 or five and you wanna take 20 cents, do it. I'm looking for 3249, I'm just looking for 20 cents more. But if I have to punch out at $31.99, I will. Oh, GoPro, I'm so good. Offer it out. Oh, oh. Oh, we were two cents off the highs, you, you mother. You sick son of a dad. You, that's, they traded against me. God damn it. They knew I was out there. I'm going to make sure I don't let anything go. 3216 is where I I get out. Or, you know what? Throw a couple of hundred out there to sacrifice right here. 3232 and gone. Sacrifice a few of your shares to the gods and sometimes it works. Let's see if it breaks the new high now. Break your legs, break them. Thirty-two forty-nine. Here it comes. Ding dong. Ding ding to the dizong. Come on. And by the way, that's a GoPro reversal. It's up fourteen cents, even if you chased it at thirty-two twenty-seven. So a reversal, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I think they work. Now, if the market can gain some strength, this bitch is going to explode past 32.46, break the high of the day, rip up a quarter, and then you sell it at 32.67. 32.45, 32.47, 32.48, and, 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 and. Let me say it. Let me say it. I want to say gone. I'm watching for this uh, this Netflix to make another leg down. Sacrifice another hundred shares of GoPro thirty two forty one. Oh, see how it works. You sacrifice a couple of hundred shares. Next thing you know, the stock explodes. I do it for the benefit of mankind. Oh lordy, do you see that? We got thirty-two forty-nine. We sh 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 sh. We got just a little bit left. I can't believe they didn't let it go past thirty-two fifty right there. I'm down to a hundred shares. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's how you do it, Jimmy. Jimmy, who's the best trader, Jimmy? Oh. And I'm going to get stopped out of the last 100 shares. But at this point, who gives a shit? $32.24 is the stop on the next, on the last lot here. I covered some more Netflix in case it doesn't continue to go down. Still short, though. Looks like a bear flag. The dark pools. Oh, they went my last hundy. 32.24. We're out of GoPro. And this is a, success, a successful morning. Ah, you must have got smoked. The NASDAQ was down 80 points today. Man, what a terrible day. Was it? Yeah, I covered more Netflix just in case it doesn't. Uh... 
let me teach you a little bit about the multi-day VWAP when we get back. And you will see, I know some of you guys got the multi-day VWAP charts on your screen. How about that one minute to multi-day VWAP trade on the GoPro? Huh? 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 Ain't that a thing of beauty? And now you're all out of GoPro. Look at that. We even top ticked some of those shares at 32.46. What's up? Three cents off the highs. GoPro. GoPro. Now it can resume its course back to $13 a share. Actually, let me take that back. If this is a true real bottom on the stock, it will go green again, break that 32 and a half later and have a nice day. But one to watch now, one to watch. Selling that FDYE at the open yesterday, I thought was a bad idea. Oh, guess not. All right, my job is officially done. My job every day is to try to find three winners, make a little bit of money, and go and do other things like sculpting, inventing a new water pick, and I am enjoying my new hobby is fermenting frog legs. <laughs> Oh, God. After, after 15 years of sitting next to him trading, you think that he would stop coming up with new ridiculous notions? <laughs> <laughs> I've never Tell you his GoPro is going to be the one that I'm going to... We might regret the GoPro. I don't know. But I, I'm not regretting selling anything right now, guys. By the way, we're killing it on those naked calls that we wrote, huh? 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 Well, what about the puts? Guys, uh, Netflix. See that bear flag, guys? Look at Netflix go. Five-minute sell set up. This will be my last trade of the day. I'm going to be covering here. This is the target area on Netflix. Be, if it comes to the low of the day, I'm out. So, guys, you got Crazy's Kenny VWAP reversals. You got my bear flags on Netflix. I mean, you got four or five good trading opportunities. Yeah, bear flags. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, uh, FBY. By yeah. the way, when we broke the five minute low, we're now in self festa mode. We are actually getting into daily danger zone. On the cues. Oh man! I cannot believe F E Y E the thirty-eight dollar puts we were in for eighty-five cents. We sold them at a dollar twenty. For a moment, I said maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe I should hold a contract or two. Eh. Once the rumor. Monday, if, if you're buying the stock on Friday, here's, here's chapter 13. This comes later on in your, uh, in your education. Chapter 13 states, if you're trading a stock with a takeover rumor on a Friday and you make some money on the long side, and if you do hold it over the weekend and it doesn't get taken over, you sell it and you go short at the open. Boom, F-E-Y-E. Went up 60 cents at the open and then it tanked two points and now down another dollar. Oh. Rules, man. There's rules to this. First, actually, chapter one is remember that you're always an idiot. I know it sounds harsh, but chapter one is a tough one. If you get through chapter one, then, you know, you're ahead of the game. Remember, you're going to be an idiot most of the time. And you'll never be happy. But if you just can just look at the small picture and say, all right, I did what I had to do today. I made some money. I could go away happy, sort of. Or my, my trader friend who, if he sells GoPro today and it's up five points tomorrow, he's like, see, oh, I told you. All we had to do was hold it overnight. Shut up.
It'll drive you nuts. Don't look at anything three days. Don't look at your trades. I let I I'll do that enough for everybody. Oh, I could have done this, could have done that. It'll drive you nuts. Oh, if only I held that GMCR short. Oh. Oh man. If only I bought that flash crash two months uh, in August. Oh. I was right there. Where are you? You only remember the ones that worked, that went more after you got out. That's why, remember, when they go the other way after you get out, make sure you take some credit to yourself, for yourself. It's good for you. And the crash begins. Oh, oh, oh. As market is rolling over hard, anything that you should be in, I, I, my opinion is that you should be short, like Netflix. Okay, Netflix, guys, almost to target, Netflix. Okay, guys, I'm going to be covering Netflix here. Okay, this is my cover spot on Netflix. Beautiful bear flag, nice break. Guys, how was that for a short? Anybody get in the Netflix with me? This is the cover spot covering here. If it breaks below, then you can hold a little bit. Take notice of how strong GoPro is just hanging out here without, it's not even budging. That can change in a heartbeat, but I'm just saying to take notice. The strong stay strong. I wouldn't classify this as a really strong stock, obviously, but for today. And if anyone's interested, uh, Jets game Sunday against the Eagles. Possibly the strangest setup in a long time. I can't imagine the Eagles being 0-3, and, and I certainly can't imagine the Jets being 3-0. Something's going to have to give. But the way the Jets played yesterday, if they play like that every game, they shouldn't lose. Eagles suck. Eagles suck. The Jets should blow them out. They should. They handled Andrew Luck, the supposed best quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, it was a thing of beauty. They beat the living crap out of them. Oh, my God, look at this market. All right, I got to make some phone calls and raise some cash, and maybe I'll uh... – I think selling naked calls on the queues this year is finally going to work. I can't imagine – and, again, this is probably – Stupid, but I can't imagine that 115 is going to be hit in the next four months. The highs of the year were 114 that day, and we closed at 113.65, I think. I cannot imagine this market, unless earnings season is something, the, the greatest, I don't know, whatever they do to manipulate them, earnings reports. I can't imagine the... 11, 12 point move on the queues going into December. But we've seen we've seen it before. So as much as I'm feeling great about this setup on the strangle, we'll see. And once again, I got really, really giddy about Alcoa. Oh, oh no, no Alcoa. You stink. That stock is a killer now. For a ten dollar stock, it takes three weeks for it to go up a dollar, and then one day it goes down fifty cents. Yeah, that makes you feel good. 
cultivate this position, bitch. All right, I'll be back. Mike Parnes, you have the calm. Yeah, well, I'm leaving in a minute, so that's All not right. going to I'll be back. But... J-E-T. We had that head fake bounce at the, begin- at the beginning of the day. And now we just are cratering. See if we find any footing anywhere. Still remains best option in this market. Best trade is to short any rally. If you've done that, you make a lot of money. You keep trying to pick a bottom, you're getting your butt whipped. Banks are getting destroyed. Market new low of the day. NASDAQ new low of the day. Everything new low of the day. It's tempting to chase a short down here, but I think if you're not in anything now on the short side, I'm in the TQQQs short, but from higher so not looking to chase anything down here mike's netflix short really worked well obviously kenny's reversals worked well intel short working as well guys intel breaking the lows intel, intel was called as a gap paid check mark so you can play that through INTC or you can play the SMH, which I love on the short side um, as a swing trade. I think it is doomed to see 30s by the end of the year. I'm just saying. And I just shorted some SMH. 49 dollars. 49. See how far it has to go down. If Intel goes down, SMH should go down. It's the semiconductor ETF. NASDAQ still making new lows. There will be no rematch. Doesn't look like anybody wants to, to own this market today. Also, lesson from Kenny's playbook. If you if you are short Intel, I would not short SMH as well. Because they're both gonna trade similarly one's a proxy for the other basically so um intel is the highest weighted stock in the smh so therefore if you're already short intel there's no sense in my mind to uh shorting smh as well so if you're not short intel that's it's fine to take the smh but if, if you are short intel and no need to get greedy and press it. That's a good way to kind of get your head handed to you. Because then they both rally and you give all your profits away because you're now losing on SMH, which I don't think is going to happen, but it's definitely a uh, possibility. It's always a possibility. You're human. Or at least I think I am. I don't know. Imagine if you just wake up one day and you find out you're not actually human. You're one of those aliens that were left here eons ago, right? And they just, and like, you're not human. 
You're, you're an alien. You're an alien life form. Not just that happens. What would you do? What could you do? Who would you do? How would you do it? These are questions that I ponder every day. If you were me, you'd think you were an alien too. Has anybody seen my movie? Crazy for Love. If you have not, you should check it out. Wonderful, feel good movie about two suicidal people. Can't say any, you know, I mean, there's nothing more romantic than that. I could try and stabilize here, see if I can. I have my doubts, but, you know, it's possible, certainly. Certainly. I mean, SMH is down 4% cents for us, so it's possible the market stabilizes and tries to go higher. But barring news in the day, I would imagine that we fell probably miserably. And we resume our down salt into the abyss. I think I'm going to shave today. You know, that's thrilling to know. Jazz bot. What's that from? Solid Bello. Gazbot. I heard that recently. On some show or something, right? Oh, Morgan Mindy. There you go. Classic. Nanu Nanu. Big market bounce. Big market bounce. Me market me bounce. I don't think we want to go much higher than this, but you never know. Perhaps we do. Perhaps. Perhaps. 